Uh, we're the machinery committee. Uh, our state of the farm. Uh, we've uh, gone through our machinery and everything this semester, and uh, have some short and long-term goals that obviously need to be addressed before spring planning and uh, uh, spring tillage. Uh, some of those are uh, replacing the sweeps on the cultivator, updating the bean platform. Uh, that one was a recommendation from last uh, last class. Uh, disposing some old used uh, machinery and equipment and uh, fix the ripper. Uh, we're going to go over uh, long and short term goals, uh, goals related to the planter and tillage, and goals related to some other tasks in the farm that uh, aren't necessarily on top of the list besides uh, planting and tillage. Like I said before, the goals for earlier class. Uh, they have already bought the sweeps for the uh, cultivator, and uh, we've been in talks with, uh, with the bean platform. And they were in last uh, last year. They were in talks with it too, and uh, there's some things that need to be addressed on the river that could be for next year or if we have time to get to it, we can do that. I'll talk about a few of the short-term goals we have. Um, the sweeps on the field pull bear shot, as we'll see in a little bit, um, we're going to replace those this spring. Um, hopefully that will help the customs with their consistency and hopefully have a more satisfied uh, customer. Uh, I need to get the uh, planter out of the shed, get the grease gun to it, um, see what we need to do to it, <coughs> get that ready. Um, we got uh, two new tractors, maybe three coming um, in March and April, whenever they come from the factory. Um, these will be the brand new model, um, the R series probably with the tier four engine. So um, we need to learn about the emissions. Um, we'll have three, four filters, I think, uh, coming off the exhaust, uh, about two turbos. So just a lot more things to learn about. And um, the cab has a whole new display for all, uh, you know, the um, Green Star and uh, uh, Precision Farming. So. Need to learn how to operate that, so we're not sitting sitting still when it's time to get to the field. <coughs> the service attractors we have um, the 4020 um, skid loader that looks like it could use some work um, in the gator lawnmower. All of them could be oil changed, filters changed, and probably water's ready to go for the next year. Uh, other short-term goals is we're going to repair sometime here soon the Katie photograph sliding back in that, uh, replace the seal on a three-point mower, and get the um, manure spreader operational. So maybe you're going to get an idea to do something with that, and then just make sure all the other equipment is up to go and ready to be used. All right, some of the long-term goals we have, uh, the maintain the machinery that we already have, um, keep it, keep stuff going. Uh, doesn't matter. I guess the stuff that's in the fall, and make sure it's still moving down. We will use the fall. Uh, think about replacing the uh, B platform. We haven't talked to Ryerson yet for any other uh, dealerships about the uh, pricing on them. And we need to update, update the uh, grain transporting equipment. We can get a trade in trucks for new ones. We're trading and we get more. Uh, we're gonna go out. Actually, I don't know. Should we take questions now and then go out? Do everything oh. in here, then we'll go out. I guess we got one more thing. I forgot. About. Um, actually, all you guys should have a uh, inventory list of uh, what we got on the uh, farm. Um, it's all broken down, <coughs> as you can see. The other one, you guys, if you're in the video. There you go. <coughs> go ahead and zoom in on it with your There you go. All right, as you can see, it's uh, broken down into uh, different equipment, uh, different categories power equipment, tillage, harvesting, and then basically just some uh, miscellaneous uh, equipment. Um, I've made some notes on this one. Uh, you're more than welcome to make it on yours. Um, what we're planning on doing 
Uh, up here with the tractors, those two will be here until March, like Randy said, and then we'll be getting our new tractors in. Um, after listening to uh, customs and uh, finance, uh, we're going to look at uh, the combine and the two platforms and figure out what we really need to do there, whether we need to trade everything in and do a leasing type deal or, uh, you know, just downgrade our entire system instead of fixing the bean head. Um, we got the two wagons that we're going to put the lights on, uh, the grain auger, the 80 footer we're fixing, and then on the back page, uh, the bottom other equipment, uh, we'll be fixing the uh, three point uh, woods mower uh, so we can utilize that uh, this fall, and, or summer and fall. So that's kind of where we're at right now with the uh, inventory. We'll take you guys outside and let you uh, look at what we're looking at for spring equipment, and we'll come back in here for questions. I guess we can When we come back in, though, I'll have a few things before we go to committee work, but it won't be long. Do you guys have a scale on that? Uh, I don't know. I didn't look at it as close as I guess. No scale. We, we do. We found a uh, scale head. Um, I don't know if we can make that work somehow. Get just the uh, electrical part of it and save costs on the uh, uh, scale head part. The uh, BT part. Those right scales are, are all on the axle, so I mean, you're better off just getting the kit if that's something you want to do in the future. I just thought that would be nice for. Uh, they had a lot of problems last last fall with the main platform. I believe it was hooking it up to the combine. Well, so was it, I, yeah, yeah, I mean, Randy it's knows. just a, a platform that's kind of outdated. The wobble box and the, the, the uh, gear box, whatever, um, was fixed, and they're still having problems. Uh, too much RPM going to the bean head, not meant for it, I don't know. But uh, we were thinking about trading the bean head, but after figuring out we only have 100 and some acres of beans. 43, is that right? There are some. 139. I mean, I don't think it's going to be feasible to go trade in the you know, $6,000, you know, back on a new platform so you know I can I can ask the guy over here and see the least one I mean it'd be just as cheap I, I guess uh, one thing I want to sit down with finance is make sure that an operating note over the combine is less than what its value value is so we can make sure we're not losing money on the deal The only other thing with the bean head, though, he's got like 500 acres of custom beans. Oh, there is. Yeah. Oh, yes. So that's like, because that's what we were looking at too. So, so there's only. Uh, we have 139 that are actually ours, but ours custom. custom. Like, I don't know exactly for sure. I think it's 500. It's not quite 720. Oh, okay. Well, we got more beans than what is that? You guys said you had to like fix get the manure sprayer. <laughs> what do we actually uh, use that for, even? Well, yeah, that's what well, uh, Greg wanted to use it. He's got, say, he has some compost he wanted to spread. Okay. He said he hasn't used it for a couple of years, but there's a pile of stuff. Not much. It's just, it's just got. There's a flat tire on it, and just kind of, it's been sitting in, underneath the shed, so it should be too much wrong. It worked when he put it in, he said. So, kind of grease it up. Any further questions? Gary. Thank you very much.